Hey guys, what's going on? This is Eric Barbercraft here, and today I'm here with legendary Minecraft YouTuber Gizzy Gaza at my Minefest. Uh, yeah, do some dabs. I will not dab, but I'll do like a little jog like this. Here you go. Yeah, a little emote. Minefest. It was fun. I had a good time. Did you have a good time? Uh, I loved it, man. I mean, this is the second Minefest I've been to. I think second ever Minefest, and cool. um, it was actually three times larger than the last one. Oh, wow. Cool. This is my first in like four years. I haven't been since the pandemic, so it's been really fun to kind of get back into it again, and I've had a good time. Awesome, man. And so for those who are uninitiated with Gizzy's channel, I'm going to let him introduce himself real quick. Sure. So I'm Gizzy. Uh, I make Minecraft videos. I have for about 11 years now. My content's kind of changed over the 11 years as one does and I kind of make storytelling adventure role play style videos now uh, and I don't know I like it so <laughs> awesome and you know I've seen some of your videos before and I'm definitely very familiar with the role play concept and I'll, I'll be honest with you like you role playing compared to like here's my bed wars montage like the role playing thing sure. seems way harder because of all the different parts yeah. and the actors and all yeah. this stuff i mean what's the process like for you and how do you get it to where you're able to upload regularly Sure. So we kind of like plan ahead of time, like what we're going to do throughout the whole week. And so we kind of like have a bunch of scripts written out. We uh, have schedules with the team of like the actors and the editors know when videos are going up. Uh, so it's a pretty pro big, pretty big process and we have a pretty solid team for it. Uh, it's not just like one creator anymore. We have like a pretty, pretty big team, like 10, 10 of us. So it's like, it's a good, t it's like a team effort now. It's not just me. Like I can't function as a creator without my team now. Yeah. I mean, you're at, you're, you're just at that size, dude, you know? Yeah. And you know, speaking of your giant size, I mean, you are one of the bigger or one of the biggest role play YouTubers out there. Um, you know, to you, what do you feel like has been your differentiating factor? Cause there's some role play YouTubers that have like 10 subs, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, you're a, you're a monster. I guess, uh, just going with the flow and like never giving up even when like things are really low like there's been times where like I've had really low years and uh, if I just give up then I wouldn't continue to because like YouTube's like a wave like it comes like really big it's not, it also comes really down and uh, you can't just bring yourself down when it is down you just got to like wait for the big wave and just keep like keep at it okay that makes a lot of sense and you know speaking of your inspiration I mean do you got anything that someone who's starting out a YouTube channel like anything that they should know yeah, so I would say the biggest thing is think about what content you want to make in five years time. If yeah. you just want to make content that's like popular now, you have to ask yourself, are you going to enjoy that? Uh, yeah. Because if you are making content that you don't enjoy, then you're going to get burnt out from that really quickly and then you're going to quit sooner. But if you think like, oh, what do I want to do in like five years time? Then you can kind of plan that and have fun with doing that. And like, the best advice is just doing something that you enjoy rather than something yeah. that's popular. That makes a lot of sense, man. And I'm glad that you make videos that you feel like, you know, that you'd love, you know, down the line. Um, I guess my question to you is like a lot of YouTubers I know are like almost feel beholden to the algorithm. Sure. Um, with you, do you like totally ignore it? Or, like I'm going to make videos that I want to make. Are you like, uh, I should make my video like this length or, you know, do these practices? I do a, a bit of both. Like it's like I'll keep in mind because like, it's my career, so I want to continue to succeed and do well. So I'll tailor my content that works for the algorithm, but I'll still make sure that I prioritize the content that I enjoy, that I'm having fun with, like with my friends. But I, it'll be like edited specific ways, or it'll be like a specific timestamp. But it'll still be content that we're very much enjoying and we're happy with. Glad you get to do that because I feel like a lot of people are like algorithm slates. You know what I'm oh, saying? Sure, yeah, yeah that's great. It's just like with how YouTube is. It's like it's unfortunate where like you can't just make content that you really want to make. Which which for me it's like I do but like it's twisted in a way you know like for the algorithm it's like I still make content that I want to make but it's like altered a little bit for the algorithm whereas like I know some people only make content for the algorithm uh -huh. I don't know if that's entirely healthy and I know you were just speaking on five years time and now let's take it to the present what do you envision yourself five years time like do you have any goals or specific content shifts that you're looking to do I try, I mean, for me, it's like, I don't try to plan too, at, at, at this point in my career, I try not to like plan too far ahead. Like for people starting off, that's why I recommend. Uh -huh. But once you kind of establish it as a career, right now I'm just at this point where I'm just kind of going with the flow. Okay. And like, I'll just, oh. I'll alter my content 
that works for the algorithm and I like look at what similar channels are doing. I'm like, okay, so would that work for me? And if it doesn't work for me, I wouldn't do it kind of thing. Wow. Like there's a lot of like channels that do like Minecraft, but but I don't think that works for my kind of content, so I don't do it, you know? Sure, sure. Um, and then I also want to make like another book kind of thing. So maybe within the five years outside of YouTube, I want to like pursue more writing. Okay. So that'd be fun. That's awesome. And you know, Gizzy, uh, we're coming to a close on the interview. Um, do you have any kind of positive message to leave the viewer on? Oof, uh, oof, okay, uh, be happy, uh, ask for help, um, it's okay to be sad sometimes, which is as very positive, uh, okay. go and explore the world, be, do something nice for yourself, treat yourself. Sweet, and Gizzy, I want to thank you so much for your time, all of his links will be down in the description below, appreciate you. Cool, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Sweet, Bye thanks guys. Me. Thank you.